Welcome everybody to my battle log walkthrough. So sign in, and this is what you see. As you can see right here, there's a battle friends battle feed. Right now, I have no friends. It's it's kind of weird how you friend people because you have to exit out of the game and then go to your previous game, and um, you know a friend request them from there or uh, go to your profile then add them. So th there's really no in-game way of adding friends. Uh, that's why I haven't really friended anybody. But uh, you got your com right here at the bottom where if you had friends you would see your friends and be able to create a party or uh, chat with them. You got some, you got your volume control, mute button, um, which almost froze there, mute button. Um, and up here you got your plug-in status. Just make sure you're, you don't need to update anything. If, if you do need to update it will be right here. Uh, Battle reports your previous games, which I'll show you in this. I'll, I'll show you later how, uh, why this is convenient here, and uh, updates. So um, let's go right to multiplayer. So multiplayer, as you can see, you have a browser list, and uh, it's really cool when you select the browser. Uh, when you select the server, it actually shows you the players that are on the server right now, and you can select the name, and it will take you to their profile, which is kind of cool. You know. We'll go over the profile later. For now, let's go back to server list. So the way you join a game, it's pretty straightforward. You just hit join server, and I'm sure everyone everyone has seen the 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 URL. Uh, everyone's seen. <laughs> eh, can't talk today. Everybody has probably seen screenshots where it uh, where they show this page. So I'm not gonna really dwell too much on on here. But you know, you can add servers to your favorites. Um, or you could just do a quick match, which is a quick and easy way to get, jump right into a game. Got your history and your favorites. Uh, returning from BC2. Um, let's see. So, and as you can see, as you scroll down, it will actually load more servers. So, it loads pretty quickly. Alright, so jumping right over to the leaderboards. This is one of my favorite parts. Um, so you got, uh, you know, some of your personal skills and achievements. Um, you got kills, uh, kill streaks, and stuff like that. Uh, not like Call of Duty, but you know what I mean. Uh, kits, um, <clears throat> and it actually shows you right here who is the number one in the world, uh, <laughs> which is kind of cool for, for whatever particular thing you're looking at, uh, achievement you're looking at. Um, like that and team win loss ratio etc etc um, here's the fun part you can actually select any of these um, categories and it will sort by whatever category you choose obviously and the, the, the best part is the fact that you can select all from friends to all and it will actually see it will actually show you the top score for in the entire world so you can see where you stand compared to other people you can just see other people in general like who's the number one player in the world right now and of course you can uh, choose the various category subcategories as well um, so there's that and of course you can select uh, Xbox 360 PlayStation 3 or PC for that uh, and filter I'm sure a lot of people have seen screenshots f for this already um, so as you can see, uh, and just to, uh, not to get your hopes up or anything, but they do have Caspian border servers. Uh, I'm sure many of you have known that, but it is password protected, so you can, uh, guess away. I've already tried a few times, but, uh, no luck. And then you have platoons, um, which you can create your own pl platoon. Um, I don't think, uh... I don't think there's anything going on right here right now because uh, leaderboards is not active. Maybe, uh, well, I don't know, but it seems to be you know half active right now the whole platoon feature. But uh, you can create your own and it's very easy. Platoon name tag and you can um, add a picture. The members are here. You have a um, you have a platoon feed which is really cool. Um, <coughs> so you can see what's going on. You know what's new with the with the platoon members you have your fans um, actually uh, people can fan 
a certain um, platoon. So that's pretty interesting. You're going to see a lot of uh, you're going to see the popular platoons stand out based on how many fans they have, which is a really neat feature to have. So there's that. And the interesting thing about the platoon feature is the fact that when you're when you go to launch a game, it'll actually I mean I can I can show you really quick. It'll actually tell you uh, let's see join server. It'll actually tell you right here that you're representing solo elite, which is kind of cool. It'll tell you, you know, because um, eventually it's going. You you will be able to join multiple platoons uh, since you're going to have multi. You're going to be able to create multiple soldiers. Um, but since we're here, anyways, um, this is how easy it is to join a server and how sort of um, very straightforward. Um, you just click join server and it loads up and you can keep browsing doing whatever you want on the site and once it's done logging in and loading up um, you can even drop friends in here if you want it'll actually it'll, it'll just say you know you could join in and you could click as soon as you click the uh, join button it will actually take you straight to the game so there's no loading so as soon as you click go to game it'll go right to the game we're not gonna go there right now I actually have a few uh, gameplay footage I recorded earlier uh, I'll show you guys that later. Hopefully, I'll get it. I'll get it done after, right after this video. But who knows? I'm getting pretty tired. But uh, moving on. So let me just exit out of that. Uh, news is, you know, your go-to blog for any updates. Uh, right now, just that. And then you have, and the cool thing about uh, news, just go back really quick. The cool thing about any any feature on the site is the fact that you have, uh, you can comment, and it's not like an off. It's not like the Battlefield.com blog, where it's not connected in in any way to Battle Log. Everything's connected, so if you comment here, it will appear on your, you know, on your feed, and other people will be able to see that you commented on that and see, you know, what what blog post what, what the blog post is about uh, by clicking on it, uh, which is pretty cool. So then you have forums, which is, you know, you can't re you can't even search on it right now, so it's in development for sure. But you know, pretty basic forum which is very clean setup just to show you so you got a very clean uh, thread setup no fancy editing or anything like that you could quote but that's about it um, so going back to the profile let me just show you so on your profile you got uh, some information about you and uh, you can update your status here uh, recording a video so it will appear on your battlefield and other people will be able to see it your friends why not it's sort of like a it's like a facebook for battlefield in a way um and uh here's your previous matches now here's the interesting thing about your latest battle reports as they say so here's the interesting part you can either go go to your profile and click on one of these matches or you can go to right here to your battle reports and i'm going to go to that last uh game here's you know, right after the game, you can just pop out of Battlefield 3 while the game's loading, or why not? You have 60 seconds to do whatever you want before the next round kicks in. Um, you pop out, go to go to a previous game, or and check check out the stats. Uh, but not only that, it gets better. Let me tell you. Um, you can friend people from here, which is sort of convenient. But you got all these stats right here from previous games, and here's the cool part. A uh, bunch of stats about you again, your unlocks. Uh, you can leave a comment. So you can, like, have this awesome game and, um, you know, you have people talking about it right here. Uh, and it, it's very st straightforward. Uh, the, you know, uh, as long as you have a pretty good computer, you're not going to have any trouble popping in and out of the game. The game seems very lightweight. It's It jumps in and out, uh, uh, you know, all tab in and out really quickly, uh, which is really nice. Uh, but, you know, you can have whole conversations right here discussing that particular game. This is really going to be used a lot, this sort of feature, when we get into clan matches, which I really hope uh, they show some of it um, in the final beta. It's not very clear right now whether you can do, uh, you know, clan matches, but uh, it certainly looks like it's possible. But anyways, uh, in the interest of keeping this video shorter than it already is not, <laughs> let's move on so that's that and then I think that's it um, 
you have the find soldier feature right there which is awesome and I completely missed but that's it and at the moment you can't create um, multiple soldiers you can only use your um, ID uh, origin ID as your main soldier so well that's it well thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoy it uh, when it releases to the public all right take care bye